another modification of Z-plasty is the 6 flap Z-plasty. In order to mark this flap, again first the scar that is the central limb or the contracture diagonal is marked. Now at 90 degrees to this on either side in the upward and downward direction the other two limbs are marked which are of equal length to that of the scar. Now on either side of this further two limbs are marked upward as well as downward and these are considered to be at 45 degrees. However these angles can be modified depending upon the amount of tissue that is available. Now hence we will have three flaps A, B and C which are on the upper side and D, E and F which are on the lower side of the central limb which is the scar. Now to know how these flaps move, first we should remember that the central flaps that is D and A will move and they will open out and then the other flaps will fit into position. So once A and D will move out, B and C will fill in on the upper side and E and F will fill in on the lower side. So the final picture that will be obtained will be in this manner. So once the central flaps that are A and D open out at either ends, the upper flaps B and C will advance into position and the lower flaps F and E will further advance into position, hence giving the release. So the final release will be seen as A, F, B, E, C and D. Again this modification of Z-plasty has been described for release of web spaces as well as for scar modification.